came back from Russia, from Siberia. And I found out I don't have my parents, I don't have anybody. 273 people, two of us survived. So one brother survived, Andrew and me. And that's why I made my first statue, a Holocaust Memorial. Uh, well, at the city, we believe a great community deserves great art. And so we have an arts and community spaces program where we put art in our parks, bringing art out of the gallery into the people. But we, of course, have known Alfred for many years because of his work with Holocaust memorials and education in our schools. Um, and so we started having a relationship with Alfred, and he started talking about these other pieces that he had at his home, and he was looking for a place for them. And lo and behold, after a number of conversations, he decided to put them here in Upper Arlington, and we're thrilled. We have 14 pieces total. We've put three here at Miller Park. We have another four in a spot yet to be determined, but we sort of have an idea. And then we've partnered with Dublin Arts Council to place seven sculptures there. The three pieces we have here are Movement, Free, and Ribbon Dancer. Um, and each of them are bronze sculptures, life-size, uh, that have themes to them that you would see in a park or a library or a community setting, movement, dance, freedom, um, and we, we just think they look really great here. There is no other way I could show a human being. They're so lyrical, I just they're just so beautiful. Um, he has a really wonderful eye for the human form. And considering Alfred and his history, you know, his surviving um, just man's atrocities to man during World War II, it's amazing to me that he has such a celebration of life, such a love for humanity. Uh, his message now is, you know, hate doesn't work, right? And so he's always celebrating life and our humanity. And I think that you're right, it really comes through in his artwork. I am defying the hatred. I am a survivor.